Yo, what is up? I hope you're doing well. I'm currently on my second move since the first time that we talked, and it looks like I'm hopefully keeping some roots down now. And yeah, don't worry, my office is a closet, and there is definitely no air circulation in here, so... As all things are on this channel, I am making this video so I can inspire, motivate, and document the things that I do so I don't forget how to do them in the future. I've been struggling a little bit creatively recently, not like in writer's block, but just being able to like physically get down and make a video. I have a few video concepts that I've been working through right now, but I just wanted to use this video as a way to make something and then, you know, hopefully share something meaningful. Between finishing classes finally and the wonderful souls that met and locking me out of my Oculus account, I have not been able to kick this itch. Thankfully, I've been able to satiate that creative hunger by spending hundreds of dollars on knickknacks and trinkets so that I can slowly build up the courage to do some long form projects that I've been trying to work on for a while. One of my semi recent purchases that I made was my 3D printer, the Creality Ender 3. Or the 3 Pro, the box says 3, but the software says 3 Pro. I don't know. Micro Center, that's on you. There's just something so satisfying about being able to manufacture your own stuff. And I use the word stuff in quotations because let's face it, I like stuff. Obviously off the bat, I wanted to print anything and anything that I saw on the internet, including this monstrosity. Uh, don't ask me why, I just think it'd be funny. But as I am doing with this video, I am trying to take my time and learn at a more realistic pace. You ever get that feeling where like you get a new thing and you don't know how to use the new thing yet, so you just wanna learn how to get the new thing, but you just don't have the time to learn. That aside, uh, I decided that I should probably play it cool and work my way up to be able to make something on my own. Which is exactly how I got this test print. That's one lucky cat. You probably can't see that sound for it. And then BOOM! I was humbled very quick by this very unforgiving medium. After this first one, I've had so many failed test prints that I'm surprised that I'm continuing to do this at all. To be fair, I love 3D printing. I just don't think that the 3D printer loves me. Before I go any further, this entire video is going to be one giant link fest, so I'm going to put everything down below. All the models, except for one of them that I did, are all down with the internet, so please go check out their creators because they are way more talented than I'll ever be. I have a separate video that I hope to make one day about VR kit bashing, which is a great concept, except I am nowhere near close to being able to complete that video. To be fair, I do have some kit bashing experience in me in VR, however, I naively did my first project on a specific thing. I don't think that the YouTube algorithm or any authorities would be very happy if I put in the title 3D printing a So you, yeah, okay. Anyway, the purpose of the video Full disclosure, I would like to thank this video creator for introducing this concept to me. The second that I came across this video, the first thing I thought of was the Helix Fossil, and I knew that I had to make one myself. So, with that, uh, the first thing that I knew I had to do was create a 3D model of the Helix Fossil. After giving up immediately, I then went online and found a great model instead. Now, I don't have any footage of this actually being printed, so there's gonna be no cool time lapses. Please forgive me, uh, I didn't know this was gonna be a video, okay, I'm sorry. But, what I can say from this process is that it it took forever to figure out. The intricacies on settings and stuff like that is still wildly beyond me, but I can now introduce this masterpiece that I printed with absolutely no supports needed. That's right. Is brute forcing your way into success and accomplishment? Definitely not, but I'm also the one with the fossil, so you can suck it. At the time of this recording, I am sitting down after making my first pass at actually creating the fossil itself, to which I can say that I'm satisfied enough with so that we can make it together. The basis of this experiment is broken into three sections. The creation of the silicon mold, pouring in the plaster of Paris or whatever material that you would like, and then actually painting and doing decorations and doing finalized touches. Please take this all with a grain of salt because you are looking at a certified, no experienced fella over here. I can tell you that much. I don't know what I'm doing. But as I said in the beginning of the video, this is a learning experience and I need to document it some way, somehow. So sit back, relax, as we make the Helix Fossil replica together.
All in all, I am so happy with how this turned out. From conception to final product, every single step of this was a new technique that I have never used before. Obviously, you know, with some creative liberties here and there. Even with its imperfections, this has been one of the most satisfying projects that I think I've worked on in a while. And even with a complete model in the display case, I knew that I definitely wanted to display it in a different way. So I went to my local hardware store, uh, I got a quarter inch copper rod that I ended up cutting and filing down myself, drilled into the base, put some super glue into it, and now I have a stand. So that's cool. Just kind of going off the script right now, I don't really have a lot to say. This has been a really fun project that I've been able to work on, and I'm super excited to be able to share it with you all. I don't really have a lot of time these days to be able to sit down and flesh out these sort of projects, so it just meant a lot to be able to kind of free range, make something, and you know, make something for myself. I haven't done that in a while either. And please go subscribe to this YouTuber, uh, they're amazing, and their video inspired me to do something that I haven't done in quite some time. I definitely think I might need to flesh out the step-by-step -step process a little bit better, but I'm a little cramped for time right now, so this is definitely the best that I've been able to do in the two days that it took to make this video. Uh, I just hope that you found this video really entertaining and insightful. I miss making these sort of things, and this really felt great to be able to do. Alright, that's all I wanted to say.